look at the two images above. They show the difference between dreams being crushed and a champion in the making picking herself up to realize those dreams 5 years later. Weightlifter Saiko Mirabai Chanu's journey from Rio's heartbreak to Tokyo's success in the company of coach Vijay Sharma has had two important pit stops. Instagram and St. Louis in the US. Instagram is where Sharma discovered Dr. Aaron Horshig, an American physical therapist, strength and conditioning coach making waves in the world of the iron game. Sharma needed to make the discovery because Mirabai was suffering the frustration of her body having imbalances that were coming in the way of her lifting freely. A former weightlifter himself, Aaron is a buzzing presence on social media. Famous as Squat University on Instagram, he has 1.8 million followers devouring videos and posts that he puts out on moving better and optimizing performance. Also, he has the experience of working with elite strength athletes, notably Martin Sleechis, the 2019 World's Strongest Man winner. The athlete and the coach were looking for a healing touch, which they found in Aaron. So it all started uh, back in the fall of 2020. Um, her coach actually contacted me over Instagram and was talking with me, asking for some assistance in dealing with some of the injuries that she had. That uh, he was frustrated that she had been sustaining these injuries and uh, that just the help that they had been trying to get just wasn't working. Things weren't clicking, and he knew that she had so much potential in her, and that she, if she could just get healthy, she could really uh, make some amazing lifts. So uh, we worked a little bit over direct message until he was like, you know what, this is something we need to come see you. After interacting with Aaron over chats and video calls, Mirabai and Vijay Sharma made their way to St. Louis in October 2020, beginning a partnership that prepared her for Tokyo. Mirabai's Olympic silver medal has Aaron beaming. So extremely happy. I'm I'm over the moon. Just so excited for her. So proud of her. She did amazing. After the Rio disappointment, Mirabai bounced back to become a world champion at Anaheim in the US in 2017. The aches and pains were however catching up. After her Commonwealth Games gold medal in 2018, Mirabai faced her biggest challenge as a lower back pain prevented her from taking part in the Asian Games and other events. After returning to competition in 2019, Mirabai and Sharma knew that they needed a solution to her problems and not stopgap measures. especially as elite weightlifting is unforgiving and can brutally expose any weakness so what was troubling mirabai and they landed i think it was the end of october uh 2020 and at the time she had been dealing with some nagging back issues um a prior hip injury and i believe at the time her uh left and right shoulder we had some small issues working out her and just over time they lead to micro trauma that then necessitates bigger changes in pain and eventually injury. So our first thing was to do a full evaluation from head to toe and uncover some of the issues that she had been dealing with. Aaron addresses injuries such as this with a movement based approach which physical therapists use to understand the body. For athletes such as Mirabai used to lifting more than double their body weight, this is like taking baby steps. working with body weight and performing various exercises through a range of motion to pinpoint the source of problems this as asking the fastest human on earth usain bolt to learn to walk better before he runs the learning is simple if bad movement patterns have crept in focusing on basics can make you better um i remember her uh her right hip was one of the issues in that it was extremely stiff and inability to rotate off to the side which led her to actually develop a pretty significant hip shift to the side over time that's what i think was the main cause of her back issues was really the hips a lot of times in uh traditional uh sports medicine nowadays we only hone in on the site of pain Yeah. And we don't take a step back and understand the cause in understanding the connection within the body. So, I believe that a lot of her back pain was actually hip related and just that's where the symptoms were but the cause was in the hips. Aaron acknowledges this can be frustrating for people devoted to strength, but Mirabai proved a good learner. Actually, one of the things that I love most about her approach is that if I told her, "Hey, here's what you're going to do. You're going to do this with a 2-pound weight." she would say okay and she would do it as if it was 120 kilos 
She would be, she would count out the reps. She would count out the seconds. Um, perfect determination to perform every exercise that I gave her exactly how I recommended. So I think that's the mark of a true champion is to, I mean, without any question, she didn't think that the exercises I gave her were silly. She didn't uh, lackadaisically approach them. Every single one I said, this is exactly how you do it. She performed it exactly how I said with full intensity. Um, and I think that really is a big reason why she was able to do so well. Because yeah, I mean, you get a lot of elite lifters that lift tremendous weight and you tell them to do something that's body weight or with a very, very small weight. They look at it and they don't, they don't think it's that important or they don't see the carryover. Not so with Mirabai. She really gave everything to the rehab process and I think it, it showed. She got better and she continued to progress in her main lifting. For example, her right shoulder. Just doing this coming up, that would hurt. And yet I would show her this very basic exercises and I'd say, hey, retest. And all of a sudden you'd see her eyes light up. She'd be like, ooh, pain-free. And, and I think that was that was the buy-in. She could, she could tell, hey, there's something to this. This is going to help. So we did a number of different things with the hips and stabilized the core um, and then moved on to a lot of shoulder stability work. And uh, we worked together until the end of December. And then uh, in the springtime, we ended up just doing um, voice calls or video calls once a week uh, uh, leading up into the Asian Championship Games. This was Mirabai's first competition in over a year. She set a world record in the clean and jerk, lifting 119 kgs. Uh, actually, during that time, she had been starting to develop some right shoulder pain in the turnover portion of the snatch. And uh, if you remember at the Asian Championships, she only went one for three in the snatch. Um, so she was able to perform, but not to her potential. And um, when she landed in St. Louis the second time and came back, the shoulder was our main concern. We did have some issues in the hips eventually that we continued to work on, but the shoulder was the main concern early on. And again, taking that movement-based approach and taking a step back to look at the entire body, the big thing that we found was that her right shoulder blade was not upwardly rotating optimally compared to her left. And the way I like to think about it is the, the shoulder blade basically is the foundation for allowing the arm to stay in a stable position. We worked on uh, improving her shoulder blade movements to be in a more optimal position for her receiving position in the snatch. Um, with a number of different mobility drills, stability drills, and then also used a, uh, a bottoms up overhead squat where she would actually push herself down into the very bottom of an overhead squat with the bar positioned on top of different blocks and then find her stability position and then stand up. And we overloaded that over a number of weeks to close to the world record snatch. Um, so she was uh, able to really improve her, her strength and stability with that. And within a couple weeks, her shoulders were feeling amazing. And her wrists, actually, something that had been giving her troubles for a good part of two years, 100% pain-free. So the idea is that if she can control her strength and control her body a little bit better, then the work that she does with her coach, which improves pure strength, pure power, and skill, it allows that to be fully expressed and to also find a little bit more resiliency and longevity along the way. So there's a reason why the pyramids have been standing for thousands of years, and it's because the structure as a whole is very you know, firm. It can withstand storms. Uh, it has, you know, a good life to it longevity wise. And that's the same goes for an athlete is that I think if we can get back to the basics, it allows them to express fully their skill and their power, but also find longevity, do so for a long time. So again, I'm very excited for the next three years because I think Mirabai is going to be able to show the world some amazing things. Whereas sometimes you see athletes, they are like a, a light that flickers and then burns out because they may be able to express that strength and power for a short time, but if they don't have the firm foundation set in place, they don't last for a long time. So can India dream bigger with Mirabai for Paris Olympics 2024? I know she's, she's 26 years old right now. Paris is only three years away. 
So we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but we'll say this is that with Mirabai being healthy and us starving off these small aches and pains that come and uh, keep her on the right path, there's no telling what the strength and the power and the skill that she has and what she's cultivated with her coach will continue to produce. So I have uh, very high hopes to see what she'll continue to do.